What a day we had in the stock market today, guys. Holy freaking crap. We got a lot to break down this video. We got to talk about some stocks. We got to break down some charts and some earnings reports. And of course, what I'm doing in these markets. But before we do, make sure to get your free money from Moomoo. You get up to five free shares of stock, each up to 3,500 bucks. And you also have a shot at a free share of Twitter. Use that link down below to deposit at least 100 bucks. And boom, you get some money. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So check it out, guys. I'm sure you know at this point, but the markets went freaking, I don't even know what to say. They went ballistic. They went haywire right around 2.30 p.m. Guys, once Jerome Powell started speaking during the uh, press conference, the Q&A, the markets just went ballistic. You know, we talked about in the previous video, we're getting that 50 basis point hike. We're getting tapering that's going to, you know, accelerate in I think three months, right? It's going to accelerate to about $95 billion a month. Uh, you know, they're going to be selling off their assets. So that's kind of what happened earlier. And make sure to go check out that video if you want more insight on the Fed meeting and kind of how the markets reacted right around that time. But for this video, guys, we got to break down some earnings. We have eBay, Etsy, Uber, Twilio, Sunrun, Marriott, CVS. So we could go all day. I mean, there's a lot of companies we could talk about. But first, before we do that, let's go over these charts because since my last video, SPY went up even more. I think I filmed my last video at about 315, maybe 320, 330 on the East Coast, something like that. And then SPY went from 425, which is where it was at about 315. It went all the way to 430 pretty much, which means it ran up another 0.8% just in power hour. I mean, throughout the entire hour from 3 to 4 p.m., it probably went up over 1%. I mean, way over 1%. Let's see here. Um, SPY went up about, yeah, 1.3% power hour. Triple Q probably beat that. I mean, I bet, I'd bet my life savings on it that Triple Q beat that. Let's see here. Uh, it went from 325 to about 330. Yeah, it went up about 1.5% in power hour. So the markets completely just uh, blew up in a good way today. And we saw a push towards a key resistance. Look at this, guys. Have I not been saying this? 330 on triple Q is a sticking point. That is where we ended up closing literally at 330 today, guys, on triple Q. So for tomorrow, plain and simple, are we going to break 330? Are we going to break 331. That's critical. I'm actually going to put my alert at 331. Mark is at or above. If that point breaks, guys, we might see this rally continue. And before we know it, Triple Q could be in the mid 300s again. You know, that's definitely in the cards right now. Based off kind of the certainty we got from the Fed today and kind of uh, more insights and so forth. Again, we talked about that in my previous video a little bit more in depth. So, yeah, guys, pretty much 331. You know, that's what you have to watch on Triple Q here. If that breaks, we could see a 4 or 5% move. Not in a day, but, you know, over the next couple of days, week or two, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we could end up making a 4 or 5% move something like that up to about 345 350 which was resistance not too long ago it was just in the middle of april so i'm watching those points on triple q right now spy let's take a look here spy also closed under a big resistance 430 bucks a share which was resistance in the end of april and if that point breaks we might be going up to 450 guys which was the resistance point on the 21st of april and even even on the uh, 7th of April, so pretty much all of April, we struggled at about 448, 450. So if uh, SPY breaks above 430, which is where I already have my alert at right now, you know, if we take that point out, don't be surprised if this runs up for maybe 5% as well. You know, the next gap to fill would be up to 450. So keep your eyes on those points, guys. We kind of talked about crude oil in my previous video, so I don't want to just repeat myself here over and over again, but... 110, 115, watch out for those levels on the upside. And the VIX, guys, look at the VIX. This thing went down 13% on the day. Now it's in the mid-20s. What did I say? Did I not say this a video or two ago? Look at where the VIX has topped out time and time again, at least over the past couple of months. We're noticing right at 35, this was back in December, in January, right at about 38, 39. In February, right at about 37. And just now, we hit 37. And I told you guys, when the VIX gets that elevated, 
you know, some sort of short-term rally's got to be around the corner. And the catalyst was, I guess, the Fed at this point. The market's ripped, and then here we are. VIX is now down 10 points from 37, actually more than 10, 37 to 25. So the VIX has come down in a major way. And like I called it out, guys, uh, you know, history repeated itself, right? So at this point, we got to see, is the VIX going to collapse to 20, or is it going to start creeping back up to 30? I guess time will tell, right? We'll see how tomorrow ends up playing out. So what do you guys think about these markets? Drop me a comment. Are you very bullish right now in the short term, bearish? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to smash that like button as well. And make sure to subscribe, guys. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers. We're about 20, I guess exactly 29 away from 25,000. We're trying to get there by the end of the week. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And with that being said, let's talk about some of these earnings that just came out. Some are bad, very bad. Some are pretty solid. So let's get into it, guys. So the first one I want to look at, guys, is eBay. Let's pull it up. Ticker symbol EBAY. And first and foremost, this stock closed in the mid 50s today, right around $54.40. And it actually went up on the day. Surprise, surprise, as the entire market went up on the day. It went up about 1.8%. I guess exactly 1.8%. And look at where it is now, guys. It went from $54. Now it's at $50.90. It is currently down about 6.5-7% from where it closed today. So not a good sign. It's just not looking good after the bell right now, guys. So they did EPS. Let's break down some of these numbers, guidance, and so forth, right? EPS came in at a dollar and five cents versus a dollar and three cents estimated. So that's nice. EPS beat. Revenue also beat 2.50 billion versus 2.46 billion estimated. So nice double beat. But where Uber, not Uber, we'll talk about Uber in two stocks from now, guys, where eBay ended up messing up or um, I mean I guess it's not their fault at the end of the day but where they're struggling is with guidance guys and a lot of these e-commerce uh, based companies here that do a lot of business online obviously e-commerce right they're they've been struggling and we'll talk about Etsy here in a second so they see adjusted EPS for Q2 between 87 and 91 cents versus the one dollar and one cent estimates so ebay that is uh ebay you're not looking good now that is a lot lower than the estimate here revenue is a lot lower as well 2.35 to 2.4 billion versus the 2.54 billion estimated so q2 sales not looking good and get this guys full year 22 sales and full year 22 adjusted eps not looking good either. Adjusted EPS of 390 to 410 is what eBay is expecting, while the analysts are expecting four dollars and thirty four cents. So that's a, that, that that's a big miss right there, eBay. And revenue. And and by the way, guys, full disclosure, I do not own eBay. I don't even know why I'm talking like that. But you guys get the point, right? They're missing on EPS and revenue 9.6 to 9.9. .9 billion is what they expect versus the 10.4 billion estimates so ebay missing on all uh, cylinders here in terms of guidance but the past quarter i guess they had a double beat but the markets clearly don't care about the past quarter they're looking forward right that's what the markets do they look forward and the, the guidance is not good so the stock is pricing that in now and it is thus down about six and a half seven percent like i said so although i do business on ebay and by business i mean i like to sell little things here and there i used to do that years ago you know i used to resell and do all that stuff i think i've mentioned that in videos before um you know i used to do that and now i i just sell little things you know if i find something in the house Boop, go on eBay, right? Post it. Or if I find something and, you know, want to buy it and then I don't want it later on, which I actually just did with a shirt right here that I'm looking at. Uh, I bought, it's actually a jacket. I bought this jacket, guys. It was um, a nice jacket. I saw it online. I uh, ordered it, right? And then I, I tried it on. It was way too freaking tight and I never returned it, which I probably should have returned it. Uh, it's probably too late to return it, which is why I'm putting it on eBay. I already put it on eBay. So that's kind of what I do. I use eBay, but just because I use eBay does not mean the stock 
has to do very well. And again, that's kind of what I said a couple of days ago or maybe yesterday. You know, just because a, a location or a company is doing well in your area doesn't mean that it's doing well across the board. And just because you use a company doesn't mean it's doing well across the board, right? That kind of goes into what uh, I said a couple of weeks ago in a video where investing in what you know or investing in what you use isn't necessarily the best investing strategy, which we're not going to dive into that. But overall, eBay, I like it. It's a quality company, in my opinion, based on, you know, actually using it and having been using it for years. Uh, but they're going through it right now. The guidance is not looking good. And same with Etsy, guys. Let's pop up Etsy. Etsy went up 8.75% on the day. And now after the bell, it is down to about $99 a share. And mind you, it closed at 109 So after the bell, it's down about 9%. And it was even worse about an hour ago. Not an hour ago. Jeez, what am I saying? Uh, about 30 minutes ago, it was worse. Uh, it got down to about 90 So from 109 to 90 initially when these earnings came out guys this stock dropped 18 and a half percent not good at all so let's break it down 60 cents eps versus 59 cents they beat kind of like ebay they beat on eps for the previous quarter and just like ebay as well they beat on revenue 579.27 million versus 575.44 million estimated so they beat nicely on eps and revenue but the upcoming quarter sales guidance is garbage. What the heck just happened? Wait a second. Did you guys see this chart just uh, freak out on me? It went all the way to 109. Now it's back to 99. Look at that. Look at that candle there, guys. Anyway, their guidance for Q2 is 540 to 590 million for revenue. And the guy or uh, the estimate rather is 627.79. So they're missing on um, you know revenue guidance, which is key. And if you're a long-term investor, you know this could be an opportunity for you to buy Etsy. You know I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm not buying Etsy. I'm just saying in general, when companies are going through short-term turmoil, that's when you want to buy it. You know, and this stock is clear, uh, clearly going through it. You know, it's down 70% from this recent 307 high, which was not that long ago, guys, six months ago, and it's going through it. So. Keep your eyes on Etsy. Uber is another one. Let's pop up Uber and see how this stock is doing. This went down 4.6% on the day. And look at that channel I drew out a couple of, of videos, probably not a couple of videos ago. It might have been a video I made about a month or two ago because look at how much um, you know price action we got out of that channel. Anyway, look at that. It ended up playing just uh, you know just like we talked about in that video a while ago in terms of that channel. You all can see here Uber's been trading trading in a textbook downtrending channel. It's just been getting clobbered for a long time, month after month after month. Uber has been going down and they just reported. So let's see what the heck's going on. They did revenue of $6.85 billion, EPS of negative $3.04. So they're losing money hand over fist. But mobility gross bookings are up 58% year over year. Monthly active platform consumers were $115 million and Q1 trips rose 18%. So people are still taking Uber, guys. Those trips rose 18% year over year to $1.71 billion or about 19 million per day. Think about that. About 19 million trips per day. That is freaking nuts. So at this point, Uber, let's see how far Uber is down from highs. I mean, I don't really track. I track it. I mean, I follow the earnings. You know, I look at a lot of companies' earnings, guys. Obviously, I don't do a deep dive into every single company's earnings. That's unrealistic. That's dang near impossible. You can't do that. Uh, but I, I look at some, you know, briefly. Then obviously the companies I have more money in, I look a little bit deeper into those, which is what I advise you guys to do, or it's a smart thing to do. It's not financial advice. I'm just saying, you know, if you uh, have a bunch of individual stocks, the ones that you have the most money in, obviously you're paying the most attention to those, right? It only makes sense. Um, so yeah, Uber, I got to look deeper into it, although I don't own any shares right now. And it seems like it is down 62%. Quite frankly, I don't even uh, plan on buying Uber ever, but who knows? Never say never, guys. That's why I really never say never, even though I kind of said I never plan on buying it. Um, anyway, we'll see. You never know, guys. Let's just say, uh, let's just put it that way. So watch out for Uber. Right now it's pretty oversold. I would say uh, a relief rally is coming, whether it's 
tomorrow, next week. I don't know. But at this point, we're at the bottom of the channel, 25 bucks. It could go to 23 24 That might be a stretch, uh, but it could. And then from that point, we're going to need a rally even more. So I'm telling you, Uber, there's probably a rally coming. We'll see. I'm going to be tracking it a little bit more closely than I usually do to see if it ends up uh, making that move. So the next stock is Twilio. Let me get some water, guys. Hold on. So here it looks like Twilio went up over 5.5% percent on the day closed at 118 now after the bell where is it right around 120 dollars a share so let's see what they did they did adjusted eps of zero dollars guys you heard that right 0.00 versus negative 22 cents estimated so they beat eps that's nice and they beat revenue, 875.4 million versus 863.59 million estimated. So nice double B. And it looks like here they see Q2 adjusted EPS of negative 23 to negative 20 cents versus negative 13. So that is a little bit under um, the estimate, which is not the best sign. But it looks like revenue guidance is right in line, 912 to 922 million versus 916 million estimated and whoops there goes my phone give me a second guys anyway guys i got completely sidetracked uh my fiance just called me i just talked to her for uh about 30 seconds sorry about that i got completely sidetracked what where, where was i going where was i going with that um they they missed okay they missed adjusted eps guidance but revenue guidance right in line okay that's what we were talking about that's right and it seems like the stock is pretty much unchanged. It is up a little bit after the bell. I mean, it's up a couple bucks. But overall, like a lot of these stocks, guys, these high growth stocks, this has been destroyed. It is down 70% over the past couple of months. So I need to see a breakout of at least 150 bucks. I mean, break out of these moving averages and we'll see what it does from there, right? So I'm gonna do an alert here. Mark is out or above 150 bucks. We'll see what it does from there. Sunrun, let's see this one, guys, R-U-N. They did EPS of, let's see. So Sunrun ended up doing EPS of negative 42 cents versus negative 17 estimated. So they did miss on EPS, but... But, guys, they killed the revenue estimate. $495.8 million versus 401.31. So they destroyed that estimate by almost $100 million, guys. And they see solar capacity installed growth 25% or greater for full year 22. And this stock did very well today. I mean, look at it. It went up 6%. And after the bell... It is up even more. It is up another 12, actually more like 11%. Let's not blow it out of proportion, guys, but still 11, 12%. What's the difference? It is up overall 17%, 11 after hours, 6 on the day as of now uh, compared to uh, yesterday, right? Roughly 16, 17%. So, and geez, I just got another call, a spam call. I got to put my phone on uh, do not disturb. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, Sunrun's crushing it. And going back to this four-hour chart, um, we're noticing it's right by the 180 SMA. So if you want to see some sort of cup and handle or, a, I don't know, a breakout above this moving average, we got to start cracking above 28. And I think this could end up running in the short term here. So I'm going to put an alert at 28 bucks. Uh, we'll see what it does there. Mind you, it, it, it's up a lot after the bell. You know, who's who, who knows if these gains are going to hold. But assuming they hold and we break 28, uh, you know, this could end up running low, mid-30s in the short term. Maybe not in the short, short term, but over the next couple of weeks, months, you know, that's where it could be going. So Sunrun, we're watching it. Marriott is another one. Did you guys see Marriott today? This one up 4.7% on the day. And they reported earnings in the morning. They did $1.25 EPS versus $0.90 cents estimated. So they crushed EPS and they beat revenue $4.2 billion versus $4.11 billion estimated. So they beat nicely on both of those uh, metrics, right? Very, very solid. And this chart looks very good, guys. One of the best looking charts that I've seen in these crazy, crazy 
crazy times that we're living in. You guys can see we hit 195 back in the end of April. It saw a bit of a correction and went down 12%, which was much needed in my opinion. And now we're noticing buyers stepping in right at this 180 moving average and popping this thing back up after a solid earnings report. Now if we end up breaking, let's say, uh, let's pull this 10-day chart up. If we break this 10-day chart resistance that I just draw out or drew out rather, right? If we take out 180, 185, and mind you, 185 was resistance in the end of April, this could end up ripping even more maybe back towards that 195 high, heck, maybe even higher. So keep your eyes on Marriott International. And the last one is CVS. And if you guys stuck till the end, I appreciate you all. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Look at CVS. Today it went up 4.8%. On adjusted EPS of two twenty two versus two dollars and fifteen cents estimated that beat and they beat revenue seventy six point eight three billion versus seventy five point three nine billion estimated. So double beat for CVS and they raised their full year adjusted EPS guidance, which I don't want to dive too deep into these numbers, but that's a good sign, right? The fact that they're raising guidance and that's good for any company, right? Not just CVS, obviously for any company to raise guidance. Um, that's a very good sign. So what we're noticing here on CVS on the uh, charts is it's in a downtrending channel. It has been all this year pretty much and it uh, it's playing out. You know, we hit 95 bucks. We took the previous low out, which was uh, about $100 and now we're starting to make a rally back towards the top of the channel like we've done many times times over the past couple of months. So right now we have a, a bit of a resistance at about a hundred bucks. That's right by the 50 SMA right here. If that point breaks mid hundreds, could be coming, and then if the 180 SMA breaks, which is right by 104, 105 mid hundreds, you know, then this could be going uh, 107, maybe. You know, 107 was that double top from April. You guys can see here we hit that on the 8th of April and the 20th of April, which 420. Shout out to Elon Musk, right, guys? <laughs> so keep your eyes on CVS, maybe for uh, you know, for this momentum to continue. And I guess with that being said, guys, without making this video way too long, that's it if you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe drop me a comment let me know your thoughts join my patreon if you want all my buy sells call outs morning update videos plus more and make sure to get your free money from Moomoo up to five free shares of stock each up to 3500 bucks and you have a chance at getting a free share of twitter just use that link down below get your free money and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching as always peace out